Hi, my name is Clarissa Shields. Hi, this is Denise Estrada. You're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire in association with Amateur Boxing Champions probably presents some of the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and Amateur Boxing Champions viewers and subscribers. Now, I said a mouthful, but I said a mouthful for a good reason because I'm doing this video series based on, upon the Team USA boxers that I... Sean Porter and Sean Tattel, amateur boxing champions, had a chance to do in Colorado Springs in early October. Now, for those of you who don't know, shameless plug again for the 10,000th time, amateur boxing champions is a platform dedicated to covering amateur boxing as a whole. I'm part of it, very proud to be a part of it. And, and yeah, so in this video, we're going to be talking about another one of those fighters we had a chance to talk to. And I actually met this fighter about a year and some change before. I even went to Colorado Springs because she, this fighter had been in South Florida and training at the Centeno's Boxing Gym. And that's uh, none other than Amelia Moore. Yes, Amelia Moore, uh, straight out of Maine, you know, the girl from New England. Interesting person, interesting fighter. Let's talk about her because she is sort of, in a way, like a, like a, a pioneer in women's boxing. Now, Amelia Moore, originally from uh, Maine, uh, was emancipated from her family at 16 years old. Now, for those who don't know what that means, it just basically means that she became her own legal, legal guardian before the legal age of 18 here in the United States of America. So in doing that, uh, she, 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 she pretty much uh, worked two jobs, supported herself, living on her own. Um, and then it got to the point where, you know, she started attending college and then she was encouraged by, you know, people to go join the, the, the United States, you know, military academies and whatnot. And, then she 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 basically got recruited by uh, the Navy to run track, and it was there where uh, she took classes in swimming, wrestling, and boxing. Of course, boxing. Um, she was there for two years. She was medically discharged after about two years, and then um, she really started uh, boxing. Now, she started boxing in 2006 when she was a very young girl. Um, and basically, yeah, that, these are the things that, that, that brought her to boxing. Now I find, I find Amelia's story very interesting because, um, she competed in her first fight with USA Boxing on, in 2011. And as we know, there wasn't Olympics in boxing until 2012. So she's been boxing since before women, women even had boxing in the Olympics. Um, you know, uh, very, very good fight. I mean, if you if you, look, if you if you take a look at her resume, right? Just just look at her resume, and look at some of the names she's beaten. There, there are some names we know. There are some names we know about uh, on uh, Amelia Moore's resume. Like one name that sticks out like a sore thumb is in 2015 in Reno. She actually beat Alicia Bumgarner, a girl who's now you know the unified you know champion uh, at 130, you know 130. Yeah, 130. So. Uh, Pretty interesting, you know. Alicia Bumgarner is now one of the biggest names in women's boxing. Amelia Moore is still in the amateurs, but but, but by choice because she's a good fighter and she could easily be um, a pro if she wanted to, and I'm sure be, do well for herself. But uh, then in 2017, she uh, boxed um, Rashida Ellis, who is the sister of Rashidi Ellis. Rashida Ellis actually wound up being the USA representative in her weight class uh, in the 2020 Olympics. Amelia Moore was the alternate to Rashida Ellis, but she's beaten her a couple of times and, and she, she has beaten her before. So she beat her. She beat uh, Jahira Gonzalez, who's another, you know, top women's fighter uh, in USA boxing and, 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 you know, just nationally here. So she can really, really fight. And one thing I really like about Amelia Moore is the fact that she's so serious about her love of the sport. She right now she currently works in Colorado. Um, I think as a medical assistant. I think you know as an accountant for hospitals. Uh, so she she has her own job. She supports herself. She's doing her damn thing. But you know, for her as far as boxing is concerned, it's always been about you know being on that podium and, and wanting to win the gold medal. You know, she she stated that you know she wouldn't rule out a pro career if the money was right. But um, that's not really in her in her main. Uh, priority. She wants to win that gold medal for the USA. 
and uh, she could really, really fight. You know, I remember, um, I remember fondly uh, when I went to Centeno Sweatbox Gym. I was there one day back in 2021, and she was there with a with a lovely man by the name of Coach Ron Sims. Ron Sims has been a, been a long time coach here in the USA. A great person. I trained a lot of the helped coach a lot of these amateurs that went on to the pros. Like she's coach, so she's helped your coach of course Stevenson and a lot of other guys. But um, you know. A million more, I remember there was like 10 women's fighters and he would like call out a combination and like there'd be like a line of 10 women and they'd, they'd have to come throw combinations on the pads. And I remember like everyone was screwing up the combinations and she was the only one that got them right. So uh, just in something as small as that, I can kind of see a million more. She's really, really attentive to what's being said and what's being taught to her. She's a quick learner. She's a great. She's a really good fighter, and she's someone that I can, you cannot question her love for the sport of boxing because she's not making like crazy money off of it. Um, you know, she's not trying to really pursue a pro career. She really just wants to win a gold medal for the country, and you know, I, I hope she can win because, you know, she's be listen. If you can beat the Rashida Ellis's and the Jahira Gonzalez's and the Alicia Bumgarner's of the world, then that that clearly shows something. Some qualities about her. And, like, she told us some interesting stories when we were in Colorado about, like, just some of the things she had to go through just to, you know, with boxing, you know, not having money, the struggles that you can go through in pursuing your boxing dreams. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my little, you know, two cents on a million more. Uh, I, I, I kind of view her as a bit of a pioneer in women's boxing because she's fought girls that are now big names in the pros. She, she, she's been an amateur for a long time. She's been boxing in general for a long time. And she's boxing truthfully for the love of the sport. And, and for that, she has my support. And, and she's just a lovely person. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how she she, she does. Um, she Oh, yeah. Side note. Side note. As far as her accomplishments are concerned. She she did win a, 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 a she awarded a bronze medal recently at the 2022 Continental Championship. So that's a, that, that, that's pretty good. Um, has won multiple national titles in her weight class. So accomplished fighter both in the country and internationally as well but obviously she's looking for that for that next step up to to really make some noise in the olympics and, and bring a medal hopefully a gold medal back to the usa so uh yeah those are my two cents on a million more you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just a kid from daniel so until next time take care uh, just like uh uh mayweather's uncles would say a lot of people don't know shit about boxing um you know um you you do you've done thank it. you you about the only smart guy that i know bro nobody knows shit about boxing i appreciate it man i'm gonna say man make sure to follow true school sports always covering boxing at the highest level man and make sure to subscribe to his youtube channel follow him on instagram at just a kid from Danny as Ooh, well he, he the plug